Good morning. How the devil are you doing this fine day? Me? Uh, I'm buzzing, to be honest. Uh, the response to yesterday's Demolition Debate show has been fantastic and, thankfully, almost entirely positive. Uh, thanks to all the input we received during and after the show, it's now trending on LinkedIn, which is absolutely superb. Uh, if you didn't catch it or if you couldn't stick around for the whole hour, you can find that show on demolitionnews.com right now. Now, while I don't expect today's show to go on for quite that long, I am going to hang around afterwards uh, for our usual Friday Big Brew after party, as I'd like to tell you a little about a little something we're cooking in the background. But first, let's roll that intro and get this show on the road. <laughs> Welcome to The Breakfast Show. I'm your host, Mark Anthony. It's Friday, the 22nd of October, and as that remarkably pers- persistent guy just said, welcome to The Breakfast Show. I am your host, Mark Anthony. In today's show, a Birmingham bridge has been removed to clear the path for the HS2 line, and we've got the footage. The quarry sector has called for a red diesel rethink. Concerned about noise? Then put your jacket on. And what a nice geezer. All of that a bit later on. We'll get to all of that in just a second. But first, let's see who among the rich and the shameless will be celebrating a birthday on this day of days. and to actress Joan Fontaine, to goalkeeper Bert Troutman, who famously broke his neck in the 1956 FA Cup final, and kept playing, uh, to actors Christopher Lloyd and Derek Jacobi, and the coolest man in Hollywood, Mr Jeff Goldblum. Happy, uh, many happy returns to them, one and all. <laughs> The Mineral Products Association, or the MPA, is calling on Chancellor Rishi Sunak to retain the red diesel rebate uh, rebate until viable alternatives become more readily available to power heavy machinery. The rebate is due to be withdrawn from construction and mining companies in April 2022, and it will mean users will be paying five times as much fuel duty, duty as before. Although the industry is working with plant manufacturers to develop non-diesel powered equipment, the MPA claims there is no suitable alternative machinery close to being introduced to the market. The removal of the red diesel rebate is therefore unjustified, premature and should be delayed, the MPA has told the Chancellor. Now, some might argue that HVO fuel is in fact a viable alternative. That being said, there are reports that the demand for HVO is currently outstripping supply as fuel fuel suppliers work to ramp up coverage and availability. And besides, like the demolition industry, it feels like the quarrying sector is in danger of being left behind, at least temporarily, by innovation. There have been huge developments in the field of electric machines, but those have been almost entirely at the small end of the equipment spectrum. And although hydrogen carries a huge amount of promise, the first production machines are thought to be at least a year off, and they too are expected to be construction-sized machines rather than larger quarry equipment. The uh, The Chancellor is scheduled to present his 2021 autumn budget and spending review on Wednesday the 27th of October. In preparation for the construction of the northern section of HS2's Phase 1 route between London and the West Midlands, the Balfour BT Vinci joint venture has successfully demolished a disused bridge in Saltley near Birmingham. The Heartlands Parkway Bridge originally connected the A47 with a nearby industrial park, crossing over the busy Birmingham to Derby rail line, and had been decommissioned for some time. The bridge needed to be removed as it stood in the path of the HS2 line into the new Curzon Street station in Birmingham city centre. But not anymore.
Now the bridge has been demolished. It clears the way for Balfour BT Vinci to construct the one kilometre um, Washwood Heath retained cut. And the team will start by building piling platforms for the 1800 metre diaphragm wall with piling works commencing later this year. Axoft and Svantec are your high-end partners for noise, vibration, dust and air quality systems, sensors and software. To find out more, visit axoft.co.uk or call 01234 639 550. Have you ever looked at an excavator mounted dust suppression system and thought, yeah, it's kind of cool, but it could really use some more water? If you have, you're not alone. The fine folks at HDK Blue in the US of A have decided that when it comes to dust suppression, there's no such thing as enough water. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the geezer. Uh, you can find out more about the Giza over at H H K H K D Blues newly upgraded website, and I've actually just put a link to that in the chat. The Miller GT series heralds a new era of unrivaled power and cutting-edge intelligent coupler technology, increasing job site safety, machine versatility, and productivity. It's the added versatility that you need at the value you can afford. To find out more, visit millergroundbreaking.com. So there I was, scrolling through social media, as I do, and I came across a thing. And I've got to be honest, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it. Uh, I recognise the need to reduce noise emissions, and I know there will be occasions when the hydraulic breaker you have available is not necessarily the quietest. But even then, I'm still not sure... Like I said, I get the idea, but how long is that going to last in a demolition environment? And what about overheating? If anyone's used one of those, uh, I'd love to get your thoughts. It's buying time again.
Hitachi Construction Machinery UK, or HCM UK as we all know them, has appointed Walbrook Asset Finance as its preferred finance provider for HCM UK customers. Walbrook Asset Finance specialises in providing finance, hire purchase and operating lease financing to the construction, demolition, transportation, logistics, mining, manufacturing and other sectors, providing a perfect fit for HCM UK's customers. The partnership will actually be branded as Zaxis Finance, which shares its name with Hitachi's one, point, uh, one to 90 ton excavator lineup. You can find out more about that over at the HCM UK website. While we're talking about all things investment, uh, HJD uh, Plant Solutions has launched its brand new hire service with the help of Kubota's diverse uh, portfolio, meaning almost all of the companies, or the startup companies, excavators are Kubota. An impressive 17 Kubota machines have been purchased by the newly formed company from local dealer Shell Plant, including uh, 16 excavators and a dumper, ensuring it's ready immediately to meet the demand coming from its client base across Bedfordshire, Cambridgeshire and Northamptonshire. Uh, So congratulations to Harry Denton and the team at HJD and to both Shell Plant and Kubota for securing the order. Now, while we're on the subject of all things investment, Following some unavoidable COVID-19 related delays, ground has finally been broken as the expansion of Libia Great Britain Limited's headquarters at Biggleswade officially gets underway. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, within the 15-acre site, there are plans to house the machinery giant state-of-the-art new facility, which will include preparation workshops for earth-moving, mobile crane and concrete divisions, a customer centre, as well as welfare uh, for the engineering teams. The facility will adjoin its existing nine-acre complex at its Bedfordshire home. The initial capital investment of uh, £8 million will ensure that the company has both the resources and the capacity to support a period of sustained growth in the UK. Uh, Libya Great Britain's managing director commented, even during these unprecedented times, we are delighted the development is underway. This ensures we continue to provide the industry with uh, to provide. Let me try that again. This ensures we continue to provide industry leading service to our customers. Sorry to interrupt the guy with the funny glasses, but if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button as it helps our channel. Or better still, share this video with a friend or a colleague. Thank you. Right, back to Beardy. Now, uh, given that she appears every day and uh, calls me Beardy, uh, we know we're getting close to the end of the show. But one final thing before we go. According to an advertising watchdog, anyone with more than 30,000 social media followers should be classed as a celebrity. I've got more than 140,000 followers on Instagram alone, which I think probably puts me on a par with, I don't know, Tom Cruise. I shall try not to let it go to my head. But if anyone can tell me when the groupies are likely to arrive, I'd be very grateful. Uh, That pretty much wraps up the show for today. Um, I will roll the outro in just a second before leaping gazelle-like over into the chat to see what you're all saying today. As it's a Friday, I will be hanging around for as long as anyone fancies a natter as part of our big brew after party. Obviously, I won't be here tomorrow morning, which I'm sure will will be a huge relief to some of you. But there is no escape. Our weekly omnibus edition of the weekend wrap will land on a desktop or a mobile device near you at some ungodly hour in the morning. And of course, I will be back here same time, same place on Monday morning. Oh, excuse me. Too much coffee this morning. And then on Thursday evening, the Construction Collective will assemble once again for a Halloween themed. Get ready for it spooktacular yeah but until then stay safe look after yourself your family your friends and your colleagues uh thanks for watching thanks for tuning in thanks for being here and taking part and i'll see you in the chat in just a second <laughs>